Hey, good morning, everybody. It's about 5.30 a.m. We're topping it off with gas and heading east. This is gonna be the first time in several years that I've ran this boat to the Bahamas. We're gonna leave Jupiter Inlet, run to west end of Grand Bahama Island, clear customs, and we've got two days of fun. You are riding shotgun. All right, you guys, the sun's coming up and we're heading out. We're locked, cocked, ready to rock. Got a boat full of gear, plenty of food, plenty of drinks, all our safety equipment, and we are headed out. Getting a slightly later start than I wanted to, but hey, whatever. All right, you guys, we are loaded up with bait. That's Jordan Doyle and Reef Cablin. Everybody else loading up on bait. They're gonna be fishing out here. But we have, zoom in. We got 66.1 miles, boys. Take a look at this, this is insane. This is like the lounge area with a big pool hot tub, open bar, it's pretty awesome. Welcome home. Oh, this is dripping. This is dripping, bro. Come on, Maggie. Oh, you can just leave that out there for right now. <laughs> This is where it's at. Boom, big bathroom shower. Oh yes, only thing missing is a whirlpool. Joe Rieger, I think number three needs a whirlpool. I'm just saying. What you think? <laughs> what you think, Austin? This is crazy. This is Aston Cracker. <laughs> it's day two. Yesterday was, uh, it was kind of a crazy day. When we got over here, got checked in, just as we started to fish, I started to feel extremely sick. So went back to the hotel and I spent the whole afternoon and night wrapped around a toilet, uh, not knowing which way was up or down. Great thing is that resort, it's called Blue Marlin Cove. They have an amazing staff, amazing facilities. And uh, I was able to get through the night. Woke up this morning, had breakfast, got fuel, and now we're heading to the north. We're gonna run up, do some deep dropping, do some jigging, just have a good time.
never seen so many little fish at one time in my life. The sea life under there is unreal. Like, it was like the ultimate aquarium that you want to swim in. Really? Epic, dude. Glad you got so that. sick. There's some huge mutton snappers here. We use half of a fresh ballyhoo. We just caught these ballyhoo yesterday, so not yesterday, but the day before. Drop it down to the bottom. We could catch black groupers. We could catch mutton snappers. Um, you name it. There he is. Yeah, buddy. How long did that take? It's not a big fish, but it is a fish. That's all that matters. What do we got here? Gigantic yellowtail. Look at the size yellowtail, y'all. Humongous yellowtail. I'll take that all day. I mean, beautiful, big flag yellowtail. This area is so full of fish. You never know what you're gonna catch. Got a nice one. Yeah. What you got on there? I don't know, he started to pull when he got by the boat. <laughs> Amico Jack. What an awesome fish. Good deal. You can just let him go. Yeah. There he is. Yeah! That's what I'm after. Nice fish, y'all. Totally not sure what it is, but definitely a nice one. I would love to catch like a big 10, 12, 15 pound mutton snapper. I cannot say enough good things about these rods you built me. That's good. Probably have to build a few more for you. <laughs> what do we have here? Big mutton snapper. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. -y. Look at this. Nice. That's what I was after. Right there, boys. Oh, look at him. He's got a. Look at that. I mean, y'all, I don't know how else to explain this to you, but this is a great, great day. And every now and then, I get the feeling that I want to say thanks. And whenever I do, I do something like this. I let go of monster mutton snapper. Totally legal to keep them. I just felt in my heart that one should go home. What a great fish, what a great trip, what a great life. It's gonna be him. There he is. Got him. Yeah. I'm just telling y'all right now, to be able to come out here and do this is nothing short of amazing. And I may have lost him. No, I didn't. I still got him. What do we got? Whatever it is, it ate the flat line. Mags, I'm coming under here. we got? Looks like a barracuda. Yeah, it is a barracuda. Ate the old Speedo. All right. Look at that, y'all. Now, let's not get bit here. This is kind of extremely dangerous. Got him. 
Look at the teeth on this rascal. What do you think, Mags? Never seen one of those. Here, give him a kiss. Come on. Come on. Just give him a kiss on the lips. I wouldn't put my hands there. Here we go, y'all. Look at that. He'll swim. Give him a second to catch his breath. Come on, buddy. Go. He will catch his breath and kick down in here in just a second. Didn't I tell you that? We're gonna run back to the house, clean these fish, and then we're cooking something good. Cannot wait to see the girls. We covered over 200 miles on this trip. Safe and sound. Coming back home. The Jupiter and I. Yep, ripping. Adrian! That's Adrian Van Vos. Went to school with him, great guy. But um, on our way back across, we found a big weed patch, stopped the boat, and uh, we all caught a couple dolphin. I mean, all in all, what do you think? It's one of the coolest trips I've ever done, and I can't wait to come back. You're always welcome. Awesome. All right, you guys, we're gonna go to the house, clean the boat up, then we're gonna clean some fish cook them up because there's no way he can come down here and not have a good deer meat for dinner meal. I was talking about the meals the whole time to my girlfriend. Gotta try. Alright, we'll see you at the house. So we made it back. I just got a shower, got cleaned up, and I'm ready to cook. But before I cook, I wanna show you a couple of these fish. That is a silky snapper. And before I got sick, we went out, we deep dropped a little bit, and I caught a couple of them. So I wanna show you how beautiful this fish is. We're gonna clean it, and then I'll meet you right back here in the kitchen. These fish are in such deep water where the water is literally so clean the meat comes out just absolutely amazing. Snow white and delicious. See that? Just like any other snapper. Pull it around here. Follow that rib cage right down. What you're left with is a perfect white filet. Leave that there. Do the same thing. And you just wanna gently let your knife find its way down that backbone. Use your thumb. A lot of times I'll just grab the edge of that, that skin and just having a good sharp knife is a key to success. Turn it around. There you go. Now, check out this beauty. There you go. Now, cut the pin bone out. There we go. One filet. Now this one, I'm gonna leave the skin on and cook it on what's called on the half shell. Now let's make something good. We're gonna start off with olive oil. We wanna just put about, probably about a cup of olive oil in there. This is pureed garlic. We're gonna put a dab of garlic in there. What we're basically making is a paste. Lemongrass, if you've never cooked with lemongrass, you should. It is amazing. It's got a great flavor. It's also got a great aroma. Some ginger. Put some ginger in there. I love ginger. Pop a thumbs up if you do too. Chives. 
We're just doctoring it up. Fresh squeezed Meyer lemon, followed by just a little bit of zest. We're gonna put a couple pieces of zest in there. And we're gonna start making a paste. See, it's all just falling in love, coming together. Last but not least, we're gonna add some soy. I was gonna add honey, but I think I've got enough flavors. That's nice. Now you'll see the consistency. Everything is just mixed up in there. Full of life, full of flavor. We're gonna cook this with the skin on. We're gonna do it half shell style. Just this one, we're gonna cook with the skin off. And I just wanna see if there's a difference in the flavors. I promise y'all, it smells good. This is the thickest, so we'll put it on first. Just like that. Shut the lid. When you shut the lid, it'll just start, you know, wrapping the fish in heat, and sort of cook it from the outside in. About 99% of the recipes you see me use on this channel, I just make up in my head. It's like, it's like I'm painting a picture. I just use this and this, put a little here, some happy trees and happy clouds and Everglades seasoning, you know. Put one there and one here. Good. Look at this. Oh yes. Now, this may be a little more difficult. Put it right here. Steamed spinach and freshly cooked silky snapper. Come here, David. Come on, take a bite. Mm. Is it hot? What did you put in there? Lemon? Don't worry about what I put in it. Is it good? Banger. That's coming from a vegan from California, y'all. I'm not even kidding you. Like, when this kid came here, you could almost see through him. And he would not touch any of this food. <laughs> Dude, no one can compare Bomb. deer meat, man. He's got the best meals. Y'all, that is on point. Snow white, pure as the Atlantic Ocean. Taste like heaven. That's as good as it gets. And our light just died. You know what that means? That's just an indication from God, from heaven, that this video is about to end. This is awesome. You're awesome. Mags, Pat Magdalena, thank you so much for coming down. Thank you so much for making me all those awesome fishing poles. Austin Crocker behind the camera. Blue Marlin Cove, your hospitality was amazing while I was sick. And I can't wait to go back. You guys, life is good. That's all I got for you. We're on.